Uh oh, y'all, we have something serious to tackle tonight. When we're building models, we have to anticipate crazy things happening. That's what we're doing. We're anticipating how to prevent the crazy. We've got dependent drop down lists. And the crazy that we want to prevent is somebody getting a three ounce spray bottle and putting a four by five and a half inch yellow label on it. It will not fit. With the three ounce spray bottle selected, okay, good. We do not have that huge label as an option. What if we change to the six ounce jar? A lot more options. This table is telling us what our options are. The one by one purple label can go on the three ounce spray bottle, six ounce jar, eight ounce jar. It would look crazy on a one gallon jug. So I'm gonna wipe this out and let's see how this is built. Here's the table with the options in it. First, we're gonna go to Power Query and unpivot this. Data table slash range the first column is highlighted right click unpivot other columns we don't need this value column right click remove container now let's load it load to existing worksheet let's put it right here okay Next thing we need to do is get our unique list of containers equals unique. It's right here. Enter. Now I'm going to highlight this dynamic range. That's B17 hashtag saying that it is referring to a dynamic array. We're going to make our drop down list data. Data validation, list equals B17 pound sign, okay. Do you know what's next? Now we need to filter our unpivoted data. Let's put this here, equals filter. Now this is slick. I am going to filter a column, but I don't have to have that in my result. I'm going to filter these labels and include what? Comma, where containers are equal to what's selected here. Enter. Oh, look at that. Let me get rid of that bold. Now let's change. Mm. Now we need to point the label drop down list to that dynamic array. Highlight so we can get the name of it. That is named D17 pound sign. Go up here. Data. Data validation. List. Equals D17 pound sign. Okay, check that out. Those are our options. Switch this again. But now we have a problem because we do have something crazy here and we need something that'll let us know. Now you should check out Layla Garani's video that I'm gonna link to because she solves this issue with combo boxes. But I'm gonna flag this literally. I'm gonna highlight here equals count ifs open parentheses criteria range one let's pick the label that column comma i've got to type c2 because the formula is sitting in the way c2 comma criteria range two which would be our containers and then comma the criteria is b2 enter now we wrap this in an if 
if open parentheses all of this stuff equals zero then all right judy you should know what i'm about to do now okay double quote capital o double quote otherwise stay empty all right judy here it comes enter what's next turn this bad fella into wing dings let's go down wing dings there is our flag let's bold it and turn it red there are other things we can do but let's keep moving all right so let's check this out we've got three ounce spray bottle let's make a selection these are our legitimate options let's put a one by one pink bow on it the flag is gone because that is a legitimate option and then let's go back to the one gallon jug we got the flag let's make something reasonable we can put a three by one red label on it and you know how we like to do things here we're going to add some new data refresh and make sure this is working now we've got a medium box and some ribbons let's slide over here let's go to data refresh we've got a medium box we've got the flag knowing that this is some of the crazy we need to avoid and we can put let's see the sparkly ribbon we use dynamic arrays, power query, tables, drop down lists. We did it all. I'll see you in the next video.